quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Eagles and the Giants, and it's all up next on EA Sports. What better way to start off the afternoon than with some football, huh? It's time to get things started here on the NFL on EA Sports. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune in to. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Hewitt. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can off... Sports. His return stuck to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So now come the Giants. Their first drive of the game coming up. And they're brought up by the sixth overall pick in 2019. One of the highest drafted Blue Devils ever, Daniel Jones. And he wonders, he's about. Today. Yeah, he took care of the football last week, Kate. That was great. No interceptions. But just the one touchdown. Be curious if he cranks up that aggressive knob today. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. We'll look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. From the 29. Got a man. Robinson has it. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47 yard line. It's a 24 yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Now, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They're going play action. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Second and 10 now. Puts some power on a deep one left. And that's his tip, and they'll get to it for the interception. Cooper to Gene in to pick it off. And the Eagles tap it as he records the first interception of his young career. Wow, what an exciting start to this game, Brock. Apologies to the former QP and you. It's not an opening drive touchdown, but an interception instead. Yeah, exciting for one side. That would be the defense. <laughs> Demoralizing yep. for the other side is an offense. First salvo, listen, it goes to the defense. And now it really sets the stage for what I love and what you love, Kate, in this game of adjustments, in the game of back and forth. Who's going to respond next? So here are the Eagles now for their first drive. They'll be let out by their rookie starter out of Michigan State University. Katie's had some time to work past their last game, and he needed every second of it. A four-interception game isn't easy for anybody to move on from, even for the shortest of memories. He's got to get his head right this week. This team needs him to deliver. He'll do what he can. That carry gets to the 35-yard line. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. Got a man over the middle, complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. They're set up at the 35 now.
Back to pass on first and ten. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll throw it again. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. He's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. Third and a lone yard coming up. Option give here. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Just short on third down. No gain on the run. And now what will they do on fourth? I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. He's going to look to throw on fourth down. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. The Giants and Malik Neighbors set to go to work again. And the number of times he's been targeted has led to some serious results. He's currently top five in the NFL in receptions. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. A give to Tracy up the middle. And he'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Moving three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. It's third and seven. Throwing here, Jones. Gets this to Johnson. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Throwing now from the gun. Neighbors with a catch. And they're going to bring it down just on the other side of midfield. Give him 13 on that play. And the Giants will have a first down. Coming left is Tracy. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. Second down now, seven to go. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Now, after battling on that run, we see one of their linemen appears to be injured and in need of some attention. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Off the play fake. He's going to throw. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it. Leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along your route and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. When the line doesn't hold up, incompletions follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And this hits at the four before taking a bounce into the end zone. That's a touchback. Now for the second time this game, we're going to look at the Philly offense. They passed on the field goal, didn't get it on fourth down. Interested to see what they do if a similar situation arises on this next possession. Play action on first down. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. He's got his man complete. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. 
That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Giants offense all set to get started. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Jones. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Looking for Malik Neighbors that time. And it sets up second down. Jones looking to throw. Finds his target, Robinson. And he'll go down. It will say right at the 39-yard line. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Option design here. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Into the hands of neighbors. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Battle coming up on third and inches. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. 7-0 is our score. We'll get back to East Rutherford after this. Welcome back. We'll begin this second quarter with the Giants in possession. They'll only need a few inches here on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. That one ends up again a six. And it's good enough for a New York first down. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end. Because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Here's Jones to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Jones. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. The Giants are set to punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. His first punt went 50. This is away and looks even better. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles, ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And he already has a passing touchdown in this game, as you can see. That's what he's done with regularity all year, sitting among the NFL leaders in that category. Got him in over the middle, complete. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 28. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. He has the first over the middle. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. 
short side option here. He's running left. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. And just in case this offense didn't have enough to contend with, now you got to worry about a quarterback that could do what he just did. Took the ball himself for a big run. To the air now on first and ten. And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's a Philadelphia first down. From the red zone now, it's caught. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles take a 13-point lead. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Yeah. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now here comes the New York offense. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he will take it in. Touchdown, New York. The Giants make it a one-score game in the first half. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. In the words of Pete Carroll resume, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. His return starts at the five. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. That 100-yard mark, it's as coveted by receivers as it is by running backs. And he's now reached it with that last catch. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now come out throwing. Hitter complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch.
quarterback will find you again. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. It's the Eagles looking at first and ten. Markers reset, ball at the 37. To throw here on first down. Pass complete to his back. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They're throwing it. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Following that completion, a member of the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They are throwing it again. Throw takes him to the sideline, but he gets both feet in with the catch. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Ball at the 33 for first down. He'll throw it yet again. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing it again here. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Here they come. This is third and five. Running back, motioning right. Shotgun now on third down. It's tipped away, and he's going to hit the ground. Incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. It was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, pretty good beat on you and could get two hands on it the next time. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. His return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. And with a half of football left to play, we can see already how close he is to that 100-yard mark in this game. Gotta think that he stands a good chance of reaching it with plenty of time left to go. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10 to throw. Here's Jones. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Jones now to throw. The screen pass falls incomplete. Looking for the back that time. So they're left facing third and long. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. The Giants using their first time out. Now Jones. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. Now this is the dreaded side. Anytime there's a sack, he's hurting after taking that hit, and they're going to get out there to check on him. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Another try following the sack. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. Hunting unit out now. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. He'll field this at the 33. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. 
Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and ten. They're going to throw here to begin the drive. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Trying to find A.J. Brown. So it'll be second down. Looking to the air here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Now the offense is going to take its third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. To the air, third and long. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know, got to execute and convert on these third downs. And it's out of bounds without a whole lot of room for air. He hit it well. They're saying it's out at the four. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Here's a give up the middle. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. They give it to him again. And he doesn't get much there on what turns out to be the final play of the half. So as we reach halftime, we see the visiting Eagles taking a lead into the break. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start in the NFC East with two teams that have no love lost between them. Washington at Dallas. And that one tied 14 apiece in the second quarter. Next, we head down to Houston to check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they trail the visiting Colts as that one's gone to the intermission. Jonathan Taylor with a touchdown run. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they've gone to the half in that one with the visiting Saints out on top. The Saints locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Both these teams making their way out of the tunnel, and we're ready for the second half. And for the call, we send it back to Kate Scott and the other blonde bomber, Brock Ewer. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Eagles are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he's been having the kind of start he prepared for all offseason. And it's good enough to be top five in passing yards league-wide. They go play action on first. Cox on the left side. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's good for an Eagles first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. First and 10, looking to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Phillips. They worked hard to have the halftime lead brought, but now that defense 
Work it hard and take it away. Not wasting any time, are they? You know, they love to say about baseball, Kate, baseball's a game of adjustments. So is the NFL. And especially in the second half, you have all that data from the first half. You want to take it all in, and defensively, you want to adjust exactly what they did to take the ball away there to begin the second. The Giants about to get to work on offense. First and 10 from the 41. Handoff now from the gun. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. From the 42. Oh, tried forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Kobe team. And the Eagles get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Well, no doubt they envisioned that as the start of a second half push for the lead. But the defense, well, defense had other ideas, Brock, protecting their team's advantage and taking possession back on the first play of the series. Not the way you needed to start the half if you were thinking comeback but exactly the way to start the half if you're trying to take this lead and step on it. That's a defender who senses the need for a splash play and delivers. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Running it now out of the gun. And he's tackled for a short game. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a Philadelphia first down. He's going to throw this one. Here's the throw on the out route. Complete. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. This one intended for the running back. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Throwing from the gun. And pass complete to Goddard. And he goes out approaching that 10-yard line. Now hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Third and four coming up now. He'll look to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's to the five before going out of bounds. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. They'll throw it again. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. So now it'll be second and goal. Send him up the middle. And he's brought down for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, it came at the perfect time. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles grow their lead off the turnover. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. His return starts at the five. 
And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now this offense getting set to work here. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there when you saw the field. It's going to be second down. Here he goes on the bootleg. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Knowing how a wonderful EA Sports team and director does his job, we're going to see a replay real quick here, Kate. And I want to see that moment of truth, that panic in the QB's eyes. You run that bootleg, you're out there alone. You got to make something happen, or you could take a risk like that. A huge sack for this defense. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Now looking to throw. He finds Johnson. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle, force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. They'll throw to begin this drive. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Got a man open. Left side complete. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that's good for an Eagles first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and 10 from the 41. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Got him in over the middle, complete. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. He'll throw it yet again. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. It was as if the defense knew what play was coming. That was a play they knew they could defend, and boy, did they ever stop in it right at the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cave, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. So that field goal, gonna have to wait a little bit longer. That's the end of our third quarter. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker, Jake Elliott, for the try. Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that extends the lead to 20. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return.
They're out and set. First and ten. Airing it out to start this drive. Hits his man on the out route. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Big shot to begin the drive. Has him up beyond the 40. They'll throw on first. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this one does not go far. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. At the 43 yard line. From the 43. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Gets this to Johnson. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We'll get a stoppage here. It looks like there's a giant in some discomfort following that play. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Now the run here from the gun. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Well, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Back now, pressure on its way. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. And he missed it. It's no good. And their lead stays halted at 20. Something I would have never said 20 years ago, Kate, when I started this business. But it rattles through my big old noggin now. That miss really has an effect on fantasy football owners more than anybody else. Imagine the poor soul somewhere, anywhere, who ends up losing in fantasy this week specifically because of that miss. Good starting field position for the Giants as they head up first and 10. They're going to throw here to begin the drive. Connects with Johnson. A solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Brings up second and a yard. Pass play coming here. Gets this to Slayton. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Who set it down for him at the 38. To the air now on first and ten. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they get this down to the 28. A dose of the hurry up offense here. They are throwing it again. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. From the 25 on second down. This finds Bellinger. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, New York. The Giants take a small chunk off that lead. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it and win it with a touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. 
Well, this one not quite over just yet. They've got three timeouts at their disposal, but really need to make the unexpected recovery here. And the onside kick doesn't pan out. The Eagles make the recovery. Well, kind of feels like we're starting to get to that point, bro. And what point is that, Kate? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the bold point of the game where you have to try something bold could end up becoming a play that finally sinks them though. Yeah, it's time for desperation. Without a defensive stop here, it's really hard to lay out the scenarios for much success. Every second matters now when you don't come up with that onside kick. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. They'll run here on first down. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, Kate, during draft season, I was talking to an NFL GM, and he said, you know what, in time, we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks. Sacks get so much of the popularity. Tackles for loss, when you knock that offense backwards, I promise you, in time, we'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one. They'll run now on second down. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. He's driving in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They'll run it here on third down. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Timeout comes, and that's going to be the second for New York. So from a mile away, they'll send out the field goal unit to take a shot at this one. You better get all of this one. It's got a ways to go. Really, Kate, that miss doesn't change a whole lot about the game management here. The only thing it does is provide a bit more momentum for the offense running out in need of two quick scores. Back out runs their offense. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Good starting field position for the Giants as they head up first and ten. Throwing now. And that was probably their last gasp. It's intercepted. Darius Slay has it. Well, that's now a second time that he's put his defense in a tough spot. That's a hard thing about playing quarterback, Kate. You know, with these interceptions and now the second on the day, you're asking your defense again to step up to another series, another possession, another challenge. This quarterback's got to start protecting the football. The Eagles about set to go on offense. And Brock, they're in a spot where they can just kneel this thing out, even though the one timeout does remain defensively. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and ten. Hand off to the back. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's brought down for a loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is. But after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over. Back to the well again. He'll only get this one up to about the 47. Give him three on the tote. It's fourth down coming up. The Eagles are in front formation. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. His first effort went 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more into this one. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. This offense getting all set for this series. And they can really do what they want with these last couple of snaps afforded to them because the outcome already decided. Here he is to throw. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. One final shot here. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. So the Eagles will fly out of here with a road win. And they take the first skirmish with their division rivals, with a chance at a sweep awaiting them later in the year in their building.
That does it for another broadcast of the NFL on EA Sports. With my partner in the booth, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Eagles are winners as we say so long from New York.